What was beautiful about this whole thing is that the fishermen were the one that the ones that had the opportunity to take the tourists out. So whatever they would have lost in the week, you know, regularly, they were able to get it back through the ecotourism. They visited restaurants and guest houses run by locals. We noticed the lifestyle of the people. They fish and they ate what they caught and there wasn't much importation of anything outside. It gave you such a feeling when you were eating it. This is what it's all about. You're able to better appreciate what you have around you, you know. And they took a little and they left a little. In October 2007, Dahl reported his findings to the Gulf and Caribbean Fisheries Institute conference. What you're seeing here is what every one of us in our fishing community should be able to realize. For now, Belize has it. And I'm here because I want to learn to know how I can get that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to be a fish star. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Thank you very I will later go on a trip like that. Yeah. <laughs> At GCFI, I've learned so many, so many valuable lessons. And um, one of the most important, one main thing I've learned is that not only the Caribbean, but right now is the entire world that has the same problem when it comes to our environment and fishing and the scientists, so many scientists have come together with the fishermen for us to put our minds, our head together to ask questions, making proposals and so how we can bring a solution to this, this problem that we're having now. But since I've gone to Belize and Mexico and have seen how those guys preserve and took care of what they had. I am very optimistic about the future for Alistair. Also other fishers who have sons and daughters who will become fishers too. I want their lives to be better. I don't want them to have to struggle so much. From my experience in Dominican, seeing all those people coming from all parts of the world, Knowledge is no, not as expensive as ignorance, if you allow ignorance to prevail. Because when you have nothing at all, you know, it will only lead to frustration and maybe eventually violence. That's what happened to the world now. But here we are as stewards to take care of our own business. And the scientists tell us, look, take so much of this, and some of that, and some of that. Don't take all, unless you have nothing left. They're just doing the job, we're doing our job. And, you know, if we can see to work together, I think the whole plant will benefit. So we have to change things a lot. But you have to start with us. Dalston Samuels and Vernon Griffith are working with dive master and conservationist Ashton Williams to share their findings from the exchange with other fishers to pave the way for marine protected areas, no-take zones, and fisher cooperatives. In addition to fishing, Toribio Mata works as a park guard. Herman Ortega is a member of Los Roques Fishing Association and a shipwright. They are using the knowledge they gain to explore economic alternatives to fishing, promote marine protected areas, and organize fisher cooperatives. Will Heyman is developing additional fisher exchanges and other hands-on educational opportunities in support of Caribbean marine conservation. Juan Posada is collaborating with the fishers from the exchange and other Los Roques stakeholders in the co-management of Los Roques natural resources. The Fishers Exchange Program is coordinated by the Caribbean Environment Program, a division of the United Nations Environment Program. 
the Fishers Exchange provides an opportunity for the exchange of experience among artisanal fishers, thus increasing knowledge and spurring fisher initiatives proven to make a positive impact on the health of fisheries and the livelihoods of fishers. education. We cannot continue the way, well this is how we used to do it. So if that's the way we used to do it, you continue doing it like that and nobody wins. We must change that attitude and it disturbs me. It really does. Especially when I look at the little ones. That's why I'm so much into trying to educate them.